Well, every week, thousands of new families are moving here to Central Florida. That means in some cases, more people are registering to vote. Yeah, now Seminole County's supervisor of elections says his office needs to expand in order to keep up. News 6's Amanda Castro has more on the plans in our Boomtown series. Let's give you a quick tour of the storage space. You can see floor to ceiling. It's covered with boxes, equipment, records. Not a lot of space here. In fact, the only area right now that's available is right here. And that's just because they're waiting on a delivery. The supervisor election saying as the county grows and more voters are registering, the facility needs to grow with it. It's a case of growing pains. We're maxed out. Every available space inside the Seminole County Supervisor of Elections Office is being used for storing election supplies, setting up makeshift workstations, even this conference room that's used for election worker training and the canvassing board room. We do not have the space that we need to uh, today and for the future of elections in Seminole County. Supervisor of Elections Chris Anderson says that's because Seminole County is seeing massive growth and it's not slowing down. Telling us between 2018 and 2020, they added 30,000 voters to the voting roll. And as we see this growing trend happening, we want to be able to keep up with it. But he says that's hard to do in the space they're currently in. For the past two decades, the elections office has leased this 18,000 square foot building from the Orlando Sanford International Airport for more than $15,000 a month. Anderson says they've outgrown the facility. So that's why he's going to county leaders asking for a new building. Spending more than a year researching options and conducting a needs assessment that found in 20 years, the elections office needs to be in a building nearly three times its current size. We have to plan for the future. The county board of commissioners agree. All in favor of motion signal by saying aye. Aye. During a meeting last month, they asked county staff to work with the elections office at exploring the possibility of building a new facility at the Five Points Project in Sanford, where the county plans to house all of its services. Anderson says he'd like to be in a new facility in time for the 2024 presidential election. But some commissioners aren't sure of the timeline. I understand the reason for 2024. I really would like to have staff report back to us what's reasonable. Anderson hopeful to soon have a new building that fits the county's growing needs. Everything we do, including going after uh, uh, a new suitable uh, office space is to ensure that their choice counts. In Seminole County, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6. Seminole County Commissioners are getting an update on the Supervisor of Elections space needs during next week's Board of Commissioners meeting. We'll let you know what happens.